hit shot. Star claw. Ball. Ball. No, I have not. One of the original devs of Area is on a team, I believe, making a game called Starfall, which has a lot of elements similar to Terraria, but it's a lot bigger of a game. And it sounds a little bit like Spore. Like, imagine the game Spore mixed with Terraria. Do you think we could dev test it? That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be cool, but... I doubt I it. I just wish the game... Uh, that that probably like uh, that boosts my channel a lot if we could get that, but whatever. Like uh, you do you know Paperbat VG? You know him? Oh, he's like this guy on YouTube, and he like dev tested Terror. I almost said Terraria, Terraria. All right. You mean ter Terraria? Is what I mean. Oh, I see you right there. I'm coming. Hold on. I w I'm gonna walk on this water. Jesus Christ, mode activate. I got you. Alright. You can take care of that one. I currently have water walking. Alright, so the corruption's this way, right? Oh, it's up to the right. Oh, what? Are you kidding? Yeah. Someone told me it was to the left. Oh, wait. Is there a human altar right here? It is to the left. Wait. I am now confused. Oh, so there's there's a it's demon altar. Alright, it's death. Alright, it's to the left. Okay, so I'm going the right way. Oh, I found some clay, by the way. And I've also found a demon altar, but I can't really do anything with it because I don't have anything to make that's very demon-y. Oh, look, I found a chest. I'll, I will assess what's in that chest in a moment after I secure this parameter. Oh, man. Alright, almost died. Oh, found some iron, and some more iron, and some copper. And more copper. Alright, and some silver. Alright, and some iron. Alright, so I'm just gonna mine these, these few veins of ore, and then I'll and then I'll continue on my way over to the corruption. Okay. Oh, well, that's that's bad for baby. I don't know why, but when I'm playing on, like, my super, like, good character, I always, like, like, pass up gold and things like that, because it's, like, very common. But now it's all, like, like, whenever you actually need it, it's very exceedingly rare. Well, some of that has to do with the speed at which you can mine. I yeah, mean, I was thinking, yeah, I just thought about that. Yeah, sure. Like, yeah, because you're mining, like, more blocks, like, per minute, I guess, if you want to say it like that. And so you would you eventually usually, find more stuff. Usually you're also walking faster and have explored more tunnels. So, yeah. you know, you play right by it. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just like, I guess all those things stack to to what, like, as you find. Alright. Dun dun. Dun Hey, uh, if you empty a chest, try to dig it up, just so no one else thinks, like, hey, cool, I got the chest. Alright, yeah, I'll do that. And there's some copper in the ceiling, but it's, like, two things of copper, so it's unnecessary. Do you have any lenses? Uh, no, I dropped my lenses in the chest. There should be, like, four or five in there. And I found a whole bunch of copper just now. I mean, not copper, uh, clay. What y'all doing? Your mom? <laughs> uh, does Staley still need this clay? Or is, or is the house complete? Yeah. 
she'll never be complete. We're gonna build a whole village. Yeah, I'm mining too. Uh, okay, well. Then I guess I'll get all this clay then. I'll just, I'll just use the tortilla game powers of the tortilla game. Gotta love that tortilla game. That's still what my daughter calls it. And she calls her Play-Doh tomato. <laughs> She's like, I like my squishy tomato. Even though generally squishy tomatoes aren't very appealing. Yeah, but she's mm, Play-Doh. Yeah, I know. What state are you living in? I live in Florida. Florida. You live near Orlando? I'm like, it, I'm like right in between I Orlando and Miami. And then like, between or my, like, I'm like uh, slightly closer to Miami than or to Orlando. You're the one building the house, will, right? Will you, will you tell me about Orlando? Like Disney or or other theme parks? No, or, the city, Orlando. Oh, uh, why are you interested in going there? Yeah, we thought about moving there. Cause that's where my college is, but it was hard to get any information about the city. If you're the one building the house. Um, honestly, like the city of Orlando, is, like. The areas around, like, like Disney and things like that, is, like, they're not, like, dense, but they're, like, they're not suburban. They're very commercial. There's, like, a lot of shops there and stuff. Okay, uh, but, so yeah, I, like, I within maybe, more, like, you, never mind. like, within maybe, like, 20, 30 the, miles of the park, it's like that. So and then once you get, like, like, once you get outside of that range, it's very, more like, purple, urban, like, and there's, like, no stuff in there. Oh, okay. I couldn't. I couldn't hear you with Levi talking and okay. Bailey trying to say what he's saying. And... <laughs> All right. Um. Like. 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 Where? Where exactly is your college located? Like, how far away would you say from See, like this, the theme parks? This sucks. I can't hear the. I think it's either Winter water. Park or Water Park or something like that. Like. If pretty much if you're not like within like a like a 20 30 25 mile radius of a theme park it's very like rural like it's like there's not much there unless like you're yeah, within that parameter of like, theme park there is like the crime rate and stuff like not the news not what they claim the crime crime rate is but what's it actually like uh it's actually generally pretty low there because you know they got they have like a lot of security there with like all the hotels and things like that so the police force up there is actually pretty high. But like if you if you want to live in like a suburban area, I don't Orlando's not a very good place to live. Like do you live in like a suburban or like urban area right now? Ours is kind of um small town, like not quite rural like a country road. Yeah, but, okay. You know. Yes. Like Orlando quickly turns in from like commercial city, the normal. Sorry, I had to say something. My mom. Uh, like it very, it very quickly turns from from like commercial area with like minimal amounts of housing to very like like two lane highway, like kind of like just like very open areas to your left and to your right on the road, and it's. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's yeah, pretty but they fine. Have housing districts. Wait, say that again. But they have housing districts, like uh, um, yeah, they do. But like, they have like housing areas. They're not like like the more closer to the theme parks you get, the more like apartments you get, of course. But then like once you get farther out, it turns into residential. Then like you get then you get like the rural kind of areas. But can you tell me anything about what it's like inside the city? Like, like, like if there are like stores and things like that? Well, I'm kind of afraid to ask specific questions 
words because that can actually alter what the person says. You know what I mean? Yeah, all so right. just like anything in general about inside the city of Orlando. Alright. Um Crime right there is not as high as you as you think it would. Um I heard public schools there are like on average on average to maybe a little better because it's generally pretty wealthy. Hold on a second. <laughs> 